My grandfather used to say, since light travels faster than sound, people appear to be bright until you hear them speak. That saying has always stayed with me. I remember being a young boy and during the Diwali festival of lights, I would watch the fireworks in the distance. I would see colorful lights going off in the sky, followed by the big bang of a sound. Thinking back, I realized that this concept of light and sound traveling at different speeds fascinated me. Imagine looking into the far distance at night at the stars. The light that you see is the light that has traveled billions of light years to reach you. It's like looking into the past. I suppose the more I think about everything, the more I'm simply humbled and I go silent. If there's one wise secret that I can share, <laughs> is that I know nothing, nothing. I've noticed as I've aged and the young version of myself, sure of himself, slightly arrogant, confident, capable, has become a distant memory, almost unrecognizable. My journey has deeply changed me. Now I find myself mostly quiet, searching for a new set of eyes to look at my surroundings with awe and wonder. Today I stood still on the bank of the Ganga. I saw a small little bird, a honeybird in fact. He flew from flower to flower, elegantly collecting the nectar. Such a simple happening that you might miss in hopes of something profound. What could be more beautiful than the present moment, which is unfolding right in front of your eyes? Perhaps the spell of age is creeping on me. Whatever is happening, most of the time I feel peaceful. I no longer have the desire to leave my imprints upon the world, a name for people to remember. Fame is like footprints on the shore of the ocean, temporary as the wind distorts its prints. Ultimately, the ocean waters washes them clean. Now I just want to witness and observe every moment. No remorse, no regrets. I tried my best and at times I was selfish and at times I was generous. The inner contradictions, the opposing views, the two sides of my face have now assembled and integrated as a whole part of me. I no longer await. Time slips through like fine gold sand grains, escaping the little child's palms from in between his fingers. There's nothing more to grasp. Perhaps it is beautiful that the universe does not move towards a goal, that life is not set out to reach a peak. Because if it was so, the question would arise, one way or the other, in time, the destination would be reached. Then what?